We got to be deliberate. We got to be better today in order that those that are connected to us can be better tomorrow. If not, when it's getting ready to come into the earth in these next three years, and I'm warning, I see this thing clear as day in the spirit. I told you, certain churches are not opening back up. Amen. Amen. Sure did. They shut their doors, and many of them not know that they were shutting their doors permanently. They will not be able to afford to open back up. All the churches that were renting. Amen. That landlord still was requiring rent. Amen. Right? Even in the midst of the pandemic. Folks ain't giving like that. Jobs are not uh, 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 accessible as it were. Money not coming in. You know how many churches are back up in there right now? Of course. And they're not going to be able to dig themselves out of it. So you know what's going to end up happening? They're not going to open back up. And so now you have schools going virtual. And not only we have schools going virtual, you're going to have churches Amen. that will go completely virtual. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord warned us. And what we're going to see is we're going to see the ushering in of a new world order. Amen. A new system of things. A new way to do things. And it's either we go along or we create another system. I'm to the point where, and I don't care who, who doesn't follow, who don't go, but this is where I am. If the Amish can do it, right. Jesus. That's right. you stay and do what you want to do. If the Amish can do it, and they will not be, no matter what happens around them, they're not going to be impacted at the same level we will be impacted by if we stay in this system. Amen. Amen. So something that happened, we have to pull ourselves out. We have to pull ourselves out of the system. And the only way we can do it is that we need men of valor and we need women of virtue. Amen. Amen. You men, it's time to face the daunting task of getting ready to settle in unfamiliar territory in order to secure the safety of your family. If not, Amen. you're going to be swallowed up in this new wave of things. You women that are sitting on the sidelines not doing anything, it is time for you to do all that you can do to aid your husband, your spouse, soon-to-be spouse, whoever they are, whatever they might be, in the necessary process to secure your living quarters, your spoils, and whatever you need. Right now, there needs to be a plan put together for the next three years. Jesus. We used to live day to day. We used to budget for year to year. You got a plan for the next three years. The Lord warned us. It's going to be terrible. So why walk around like chickens with our heads cut off? Waiting for the three years to come. Jesus. And we know not what to do. When we can now plan for the next three years, safeguard ourselves for the next three years and do what we have to do. Sit down, budget, cut out spending, things that you do not need, places that you don't need to eat from, things that you don't need to buy, and you need to save up some money. Start looking into some properties. Land, vacant land. Without houses, vacant land. Acres of land that you can invest in, buy for yourself, so you can build on it later. The reason why I say vacant land is because if you buy land with a house on it, the value, the amount of it is way more. But if you get land with nothing on it, you can get that land for a good penny or so, and then later on build on it. You got me? Amen. If you never sat down and really thought about life in the next three years, it is time to sit down and think about life in the next three years. You younger ones that don't have jobs, no husband, no children, it is time for you to put your hand to the plow. Do what you need to do because the next three years is about to bring something upon the earth 
that some of us will not be prepared for. Said it all over the building. Jesus. Said it all over the building. Jesus. And maybe who I am for the, for the space of, of, of the next few months going into the close of this year, I'm organizing already. I'm talking to people and I, I'm, I'm bringing financial advisors in. If, if nobody makes it, hear me and hear me go. If nobody under the sound of my voice makes it and do what you need to do, it's not going to be because of me. It's going to be because of you. Hear me. And then, if you don't take advantage of what's being presented before you, you're going to have nobody to blame but yourself. I'm talking to brother right here in Brooklyn, financial advisors, those that teach financial literacy, all this type of stuff. And I'm bringing them in here on some Tuesday nights, some Friday nights, to teach y'all. The information that they're coming to give you, you better take it. You better take it. You better eat it up. You better chew it up. I was on a Zoom call yesterday from 10 30 to 12 30, looking at uh, 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 invest, talking about investment properties and, and, and how to uh, get into real estate investment. I'm not playing. I'm not going to look around the three years and this thing hit the fan and I'm sitting outdoors behind some trees like I should have. I could have. Things are about to get hard. I mean, real hard. And the normal that we're now experiencing, we will not be able to experience this normal three years from now. Y'all looking good today, but some of the threads that you're wearing, if you're not making them yourselves, you will not afford to buy them. They're cutting out the middle man. And either you're going to be in one class or you're going to be in another class. And you got to make the choice of which class you're going to be in. Jesus. And we're not taught these things. We're taught go to high school, come out of high school, go to college, and go to college and take up a, 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 a career path and get a degree that you're going to get out into the real world and not use. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. That's right. the first yeah, taught so this. How, how many of y'all got degrees in here? Now, how, how many of them are actually working in that field? Only four, five, five people are actually working in the field that they got a degree in. So now for those that got the degree and not working in your field, some are going to say, well, I applied, I tried, I can't get in. And now you're forced to do something that you didn't even go to school for. Because in that degree, you got a bunch of other people that went to school for the same thing. And even after you come out, you think it's an automatic, but you still got to compete. Amen. Amen. To get there. And if your field is not nursing or hotel, hospitality, areas of uh, uh, psychology and things of that nature, mental health, things in fields that are, are always in demand. Then guess what? Work for you is scarce. Right. It's hard for you to get in. My, my, my pastor back home taught me one thing, and this thing stuck with me my entire life, and this is now what I'm trying to teach. He said, get into a field. Everybody want to jump into fields and get degrees and stuff just because it sounds good and it looks good. He said, get in a field that is in demand. Amen. Get into a field that the world will always need. Amen. He said, y'all want to jump up here and go to school, this, 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 but stuff that don't even matter. He told us, and he named a couple of them. He said, the healthcare field. Uh-huh. He said, as long as people are living, they're going to get sick. You can never really not be in demand when it comes to that. They're going to need you one way or the other. They're going to be looking for you. Get into the healthcare field. He said, get into... Uh, 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 child care. He said, as long as people are living, they're going to be having children, they're going to need care for the children. So get into child care. Now, that field, we don't know how that's going to turn with all that's going on in the world. But he said, get into child care, health care, get into uh, 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 things of self care, barber 
barbershops, open up barbershops, being barbers, being hair positions, uh, things of that nature. Because all the people alive, they're going to want their hair done, haircut, things of that nature. Now, we might have to get ready to scratch some of that off after a while. But he said it. Next thing he said, he said, get into the funeral home business. Uh huh. He said, as long as people are living, they're going to die. Now, now we might, it sounds like it's such a, if they're the alive, they're going to die. It's the truth. So get into things that you know will always be needed. Get into fields that you know are going to demand you. Some of us got degrees that we spent three, four years in. And now we've been out of school for X amount of years and have not done not one bit of work. Amen. In effort. We wasted our time. Amen. Amen. Created debt, wasted our time. Amen. And we were taught these things. And we followed these things. Not realizing that the average individual did not go to college for four years and do a lot of stuff. Amen. They're working in businesses that they inherited from their parents. Amen. Amen. That's right. The majority of them, and if they went to school, they went to school because they wanted to go to do something. But they inherited businesses, family businesses, all types of stuff. And we were taught to do totally different things. And now we see that a lot of this stuff really didn't pay off. Like it's supposed to. But some it did, but some it didn't. But even those that do have their degrees in certain things, you want to start looking into doing something for yourself. Amen. It's a terrible thing for somebody to have the power to hire you and fire you. Amen. It's a scary thing for your livelihood to be in the hands of somebody else. Amen. Amen. So even in that, you have to safeguard yourself for the next three years because we don't know what is to come. Amen. Now with me? Amen. Amen. Prepare. Hands lifted. Prepare.